a daily journey with God. Prophecies of Peace He who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to men. That is 1 Corinthians 14, verse 3. Donald Cargill was a 17th century Scottish covenanter, a devout Presbyterian who was arrested and executed in Edinburgh for issuing a declaration against the King of England. As he went to his death, Cargill proclaimed, The Lord knows I go up this ladder with less fear, confusion, or perturbation of mind than ever entered a pulpit to preach. How was it possible for a person who served Christ faithfully not to be confused when his service resulted in a cruel death? It was possible because Donald Cargill knew the prophetic scriptures. Promises like, I go to prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. John 14 verses 2 through 3. Or the words that the Apostle Paul writes, which say, God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33. Cargill may have been encouraged, knowing that God was not behind his execution. Throughout Scripture, God uses his prophets to speak edification and exhortation and comfort to his people. If today seems confusing, Find peace in the precious promises God has given you through the prophets in his word. No Bible subject holds more practical implications than the matter of prophecy. That's a quote by Vance Abner. Bible prophecy. That'd be great to have a discussion on that someday. God is always good. Thank you.